Hey, good morning. It's 6.55 a.m., actually 7 a.m., and right now, if you listen carefully, you can hear a baby on the monitor who's about to wake up. So 15 minutes from now, we have little alarm clocks that get the kids up. They're called froggy alarms. I could uh, perhaps link that if you even care to know, but I'm gonna do a little, what is Marcus eating and putting in his body to fuel his life uh, starting today? <laughs> There's the baby. Anyway, getting started here at 7 a.m. I've already been up uh, and had a sauna and a cold plunge and um, did some stretching and I had my first cup of coffee so I didn't show you that but I'm gonna show you my second cup of coffee which is starting right now. I gotta hit the beat. Okay, I got the coffee going. This was 18 grams of coffee. I am brewing the verve today. Bam. Right out of Santa Cruz, California. I'm using the Ode Fellow Grinder. I am using this scale from uh, Asaya, Asa, Asaya, Acacia, Acacia. Aca I don't know how to ever say it. I spell it wrong every time ever people ask me on Instagram, um, but it's a coffee scale. And then I got the fellow. We're gonna go ahead and brew some coffee. Here we go. And this is how I get my day started. And what's starting in this little, this, this coffee maker over here is my wife's coffee. And if you wanna do something nice for somebody, always start the day by brewing somebody else of their coffee. It's like such a, a a great feeling. The best part of waking up is folders in your cup. So she's drinking a different uh, blend. I think she's got something from Portland Coffee Roasters in here. And I use the ratio coffee maker for her. Uh, just makes it a little easier on me. I'm doing my pour over and here's my second pour. Okay, that's a Hario V60 dripper. I've got 18 grams of coffee in there. I've got 300 grams of water. That's about a one to 15 ratio. I'm gonna let that pour through. Give it a little twirl here. Make sure all the grinds get off the sides of the filter to the bottom. I'm gonna get that coffee going. I'm gonna go get the kids. We'll be back here. We'll start their breakfast really soon. All right, we're getting the kiddos ready for some bre with their breakfast. We've got yogurt, we've got raspberries, got a little bit of bacon right over here. Hey Noah, do you want to say something to Jojo? No? Jojo, what do you want to say to Noah? Yummy. Is it yummy? Mm -mm. What else do we have over here? We got tortilla dough. We're ready to make some tortillas. We use the air fryer to make that bacon. And then daddy's going to have his breakfast here really soon, right? You want some more? Ma, mm -hmm. ma, mm -hmm. yum. Okay, let's do it. Okay, time for my breakfast now. I'm gonna show you in a second, but uh, we got some uh, meat and veggies, which is typical for the breakfast, and a little bit more coffee, which I just made. Yeah. And then we got some supplements, some pills I'm gonna be taking, which Joey loves to feed me the pills. Let's try. Let's try it. Okay. This is what we got for breakfast. We've got 12 ounces of coffee. We've got uh, <clears throat> magnesium and creatine. I take it in the morning because that's when I remember to take it. Got my supplements, a lot of supplements in there. We got some digestive enzymes. We've got some pills. We got some B complex. We've got some zinc, vitamin D, and mag more magnesium in here. And then this is the food that I'm having. This is cabbage, zucchini, and ground beef. About a pound of ground beef, about 500 grams of vegetables. Feed Daddy cooked. pills. You wanna feed Daddy some pills? Okay, just a second. And this is my Carolina barbecue sauce. And I take this, and what do I do with it? I squeeze it right on top of my food. And that's how we do it. And then these guys like to help daddy, right? Yeah. Feed me some pills. Ah. Watch some. Watch some. Mm -hmm. 
in my shape. Jojo, can you give me a couple? Can you help me out? Um. Another one. Another one. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, okay. Well. Couple more. Whoops. Whoops. All right, last one. Um. Uh, um. And I'll take these ones. Like this. One more. Mm. All right. Yeah. Like that. Alright, we're all supplemented up. Water's yeah. gone. And now it's breakfast time. Question Kimmel. Okay, it's 8 o'clock. We've already had some breakfast and we're about to push off to school. Take the kids to school, then I'm going to go to the gym. And as is often the case, I'm feeling just a little bit more hungry after my breakfast, which um, I didn't actually have as much food as I would typically have. So I'm grabbing a quick snack. This is what I'm going for. I'm going to do the Kirkland brand unsalted mixed nuts. I'm going for 75 grams of uh, <clears throat> mixed nuts, maybe 100 grams. I might have a little bit more. So I got them in this little cup. I'll snack on that. I'll probably have some more water. And I'll show you what that looks like. All right, catch you soon. I threw one of these into my water. This is Element. This is uh, electrolytes. Joey wants to hold it. It's got some potassium, sodium, and uh, magnesium in it. Yeah. Check. You taking care of that? We're doing a little coloring before we go to school. Um, I threw it in this, uh, I think it's like a 32 ounce water jug. And um, I actually put two of those in there. They taste delicious, no sugar. Get me, uh, ever since I started taking those earlier on this year, um, helped a lot with my cramping that I was having during the summertime. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna drink that and then we're gonna go to school and then it's off to the gym. Okay, check in later. Okay, just got back from dropping the kids off. I was gonna go to the gym, decided to come home, called an audible, got home, gonna train in the backyard. Um, but first I'm gonna take a phone call. So I decided to brew another cup of coffee. This is my third cup of coffee for the day. Uh, this is the only the second one that is caffeinated. I usually have one to two decaf cups a day and usually three cups of coffee a day. They're all 10 ounces each, so I'm not consuming a ton of coffee. I love the taste of coffee. I take my coffee brewing real seriously. I really get into the nuances of it, the fun of changing up the brew methods. Anyway, I, I'm back with the pour over this morning and I usually always drink it black, but sometimes I like to put in a little bit of MCT oil powder or I'll put in some heavy cream, heavy whipping cream. Today I'm doing the MCT oil powder. I'm gonna put in 10 grams of that, which is um, five grams of fat. And I usually do that right on the scale after I've actually brewed my coffee. So, bam, that was 10, one scoop of that. And then you need, you need the, little, the little buzzer. Make sure it gets nicely frothed. <laughs> nicely frothed and uh, at least blended in there. Um, I think froth is a very, 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 very dirty word. Uh, anyhow, here we go. I'm having this cup of coffee. I'm gonna go sit on the bike erg and I'm gonna pedal for about 30 minutes. Uh, I'll show you my bike erg setup. Um, pedal for 30 minutes, drink my coffee, talk to my business partner Satya. Uh, catch up on the day, see what we have to do. Anyway, this is my bike setup. Look, I've got the computer stand on the desk erg, and uh, I'm gonna pedal at uh, a, a mellow pace, damper on setting one. All right, I'll catch up with you later. If I take any supplements during the workout, I'll be sure to tell you, um, but that's, that's maybe, okay, later. Okay, got in the backyard, knocking out the workout for the day. Um, I ended up having some of this. Let's see, there you go. Yeah, 
That's the Thorn Amino Complex berry flavored. I take it because it tastes delicious and um, helps me to keep drinking my water, which uh, I think is pretty important when you're training. So I'm gonna get uh, the rest of this workout in and then I'll go have lunch and I'll show you guys what that is. Also, in case you see all this extra equipment that's out here, I got somebody helping me install some new stuff today, all from Aleco Sport. I'm super excited about it. I'll show you all that relatively soon too. All right, take care. Okay, what's up guys? I'm back in the kitchen. Um, I'm gonna be working the rest of the day from the house, which is typical for me. I'm about to have some lunch. It is 12.30, so let's recap. I had the breakfast around 7.30 with the kids. Then I had a handful of nuts right after that. It's so about 30 minutes after the meal. Um, I had that coffee with the MCT oil powder in it. Then I had the aminos during my training. Um, I also had the uh, electrolyte drink, the element drink. I'm actually, I just poured another one right now that I'm gonna have with my meal. Um, and then let's break it down. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm having for lunch. All right, here's, let me walk you through what we got. I have about 18 ounces of water with a raspberry salt electrolyte tablet or uh, packet in here from Element. It's really good. That's my favorite flavor, by the way. The other one I like is chocolate salt, which I have with hot water in the evening and it tastes like chocolate milk, uh, hot chocolate. Um, I'm taking some more digestive enzymes. This is hydrochloric acid or HCL with pepsins just for digesting protein, a little bit of zinc. Okay, go. Take those before the meal so that the food gets in there mixed with it. All right, I have these pickles. Um, kind of craving something like that. Vinegary post-workout. I've already had two off camera, but I'll have another one. And what I like about this, this is like great veggies, getting in cucumbers that have basically no macros. These are super macro friendly, so you can kind of fill up on some of these. Um, they do have quite a bit of salt, so if you're worried about like water retention issues and stuff like that, maybe it's not for you, but I'm not. Um, and then, in this meal, sorry, I couldn't resist taking a bite of that. Um, I have sautéed bell peppers, yellow, red, and orange all mixed together. About 300 to 400 grams of, of that. Then I have about... I have pork shoulder that was uh, cooked in the pressure cooker. Um, take that back. It's not pork shoulder, it's actually pork tenderloin, I forgot. It's pork tenderloin with a lot of uh, chili spices, paprika, cayenne. Um, I cooked it with some tamari as well, with some balsamic vinegar, with a little chicken stock, um, a little dash of honey, all that went in the Instapot and I got this shredded pork that's in here. So it's pretty lean, doesn't have a lot of fat to it. Um, that's why I also have added 250 grams of avocado to the top of this. So 250 grams of avocado, good fat source, about a pound of meat, and then the, the peppers. Then on top of that, I put this, this is not apple cider vinegar, I'm just using the, the bottle for it, but this is my homemade it's like, I call it a steak sauce. It's basically like A1 sauce, steak sauce that I make myself. I take, eh, it just so happens it's right here. I take this organic bulk Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire sauce, organic gluten-free Worcestershire sauce with tomato paste and yellow mustard. And I mix those together and it makes this killer sauce. Um, I, I actually, in this particular one, I put some maple syrup, so it's a little bit, it's got a little bit more carbs in it. It's like a higher sugar content, but I'll leave that out sometimes. And so the macros are pretty good on this. I put a hundred grams of this on, which is a lot of sauce, and it's only like 17 grams of carbs um, to go with this meal. So post-workout, I'm getting protein, fat, carbs, pretty balanced, a little electrolyte. That's what I'm eating right now. And um, this is my, bi my second big meal of the day. So I had the big, breakfast, which was about 1,500 calories. This one's about 14, 1,300 calories total. Um, and then I think I have some macros left for the day, which I'll, I'll, I'll fill out with um, a couple snacks here in the afternoon, and then I'm done eating for the day. So I don't have a, I don't actually do a, a dinner, a big dinner most days. Um, 
or any dinner at all. And this is kind of how I, this is how I flow most days. So thanks for joining me on this one. I'll check back if I have any more food, any more, maybe an afternoon decaf coffee um, might be on the docket, but for now I'm going to tuck into this one. We're into the afternoon. It's about two o'clock <clears throat> and um, I went ahead and inputted all of my food that I've had so far today into my fitness pal, which is how I track my macros. Plenty of different options that are out there. And I was about, I don't know, 50 grams, 60 grams short on my fat for the day. Um, and kind of roughly around where I needed to be for carbs and protein. So I put together a high fat snack and I'm also gonna have, so I'm gonna have a decaf coffee because it's late and I don't wanna have caffeine this late in a day. Um, I put some more MCT oil powder in here, which is a good fat source. It doesn't come with a lot of other stuff with it. There's a little bit of protein in it. Um, and then macadamia nuts, which are sort of a, a slippery slope food. I can eat like this whole bag and it's pretty dense, but I actually have some good self-control and I know exactly what I want. I'm gonna have 60 grams of these, which I'll weigh out. And then that's all going into my fitness pal. And uh, that kind of gets me pretty close to my macros for the day. Um, I probably won't have anything beyond this for the rest of the day, except for maybe some water electrolytes. Um, if I have anything else, I'll be sure to show you. And if you have any questions about how I've gone about picking my macros for the day, you can definitely hit me in the comments below. Today was a relatively low carb day. Um, I didn't really have anything that was very starchy at all. Um, I was able to have my vegetables at each meal. Um, and I had that barbecue that, excuse me, that homemade steak sauce, which had some carbs in it too. Um, and I think that put me around like 125, 135 grams of carbs today. So I do lower carbs on days that I'm not doing a ton of activity. I did a training session today. It was mostly resistance training. I had great energy for it. I didn't feel like I needed carbs. I had higher carbs yesterday and the day before. So my glycogen stores were pretty much full and I felt great energy and great performance during my training for what I was looking for today. Um, and then now I'm just going to plug into work. So high fat snack. I had a relatively low carb meal. I'm pretty, I'm pretty like level headed. My energy is clear. Um, and, or my head is clear. My energy is up and I'll be able to focus on work for the afternoon. I'll go pick up the kids, uh, this, um, around 4 PM, uh, from their school, their daycare. And then I'll be back here getting them ready for dinner, getting them ready for the night and, um, playing with them a bit. So that's why I tend to try and get a lot of my food and my meals in earlier in the day because the evening is such a high um, activity time with them. And it's, you know, at two and four years old, it's, we're not really sitting down to family meals. I have breakfast with them, as you saw this morning. Um, I'd like to have like this very, you know, lovely sit down dinner with them and my wife, but the reality is that it's chaotic. And I found myself for a while like getting stressed out during those meals and feeling like, oh, I got to tend to them and how am I going to feed myself? So I kind of shifted a lot of my eating to earlier in the day. Um, technically like a, you know, an intermittent fasting window, I kind of keep it to six to eight hours during the day of eating. And then I have these longer fasts, um, which I break up with water, with electrolytes and, you know, um, black coffee from time to time. So I'm not like super strict on making sure it's just water. Um, but I don't take a lot of calories in, if any calories for those hours of the day. And I'm, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I got for you. I, like I said, I'll check in later when I make my, uh, my hot chocolate. And, um, again, if I have any more electrolyte drinks or if I decide to slip something else in, but, uh, I feel like I'm pretty satiated for the day. I know how my body's gonna respond. I'll be good to go for the rest of the evening and the nighttime, and then I'll wake up, I'll feel great. Hopefully I'll be um, you know, in the green on my WHOOP score, and I'll be hungry right around 6.30 or 7 o'clock tomorrow morning for another breakfast with the kids. Catch you soon. Hey, what's up? We're wrapping up the day here. Just picked up the kids, it's about 5.30. Um, my wife, Megan, is about to be home for dinner and I'm working on prepping up some food for these kiddos. Um, I am actually gonna pour another one of these. This is the chocolate salt element. Um, element recharge, electro electrolyte drink. So I've had about, I think I've had like four or five of these today, which is 
5,000 milligrams of sodium, 1,000 milligrams of potassium, and about 300 milligrams of magnesium. Plus, I told you I had some magnesium in capsule form, also in a powder form in my drink this morning. So I definitely have uh, reached my quotient, daily quotient, of electrolytes. Um, I tend to have that with pretty much everything I have in the way of water. I have a, maybe 20 to 30 ounces of pure water a day, and then the rest has some of these dipped in, uh, some of these different electrolyte blends dipped into them. Um, so I'm gonna heat up the water to 190 degrees in my electric kettle. And then it's gonna go into this. That is a fellow Coffee Products Carter Everywhere mug. This is double walled, which is nothing new, except for the inner wall is made of cer is, is ceramic, not metal. So when you put your coffee or your hot beverages in here, you don't get any metal taste. And that little rim is very thin, which I think was inspired by wine glass, uh, a wine glass. Um, anyhow, it's really nice when you're drinking your coffee. Highly recommend one of those. Um, and now the water is pretty much the temperature, so I'm going to pour it. And it mixes pretty easily, but I'll even buzz it with that little uh, frother that I used this morning for my MCT oil. I think froth is a very, 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 very dirty word. Um, and like I said, I know my body pretty well. I've been doing this for a long time. You're probably going to ask me, hey Marcus, is it really all you're going to eat today? You're going to have those two big meals? And the answer is yes. I had those two big meals plus, um, you know, a few snacks of... Uh, mixed nuts and macadamia nuts. The thing is, it's all about, you know, quantity and balancing out how much I need relative to my goals. So I know from experience that I tend to do pretty well on um, about 3,700 calories a day. I was probably around 3,550 today, um, maybe give or take, and that's got me totally satiated. Um, I was probably above that the last couple days, so I finished that last meal around, I think it was 1, one, one or one thirty. Um, I had that snack of macadamia nuts, maybe at 2, and I'm totally satiated, um, 5.15, go to bed at 9, so a few more hours, and I probably won't feel any hunger pangs, like I'm, I'm into the kind of rest and digest mode. The sun is setting here in California, so I'm not going to be doing anything super active. I haven't always eaten this way, is how I've been eating for the last couple years, oh, excuse me, the last several months, almost up to a full year. I've been doing this sort of uh, skipping dinner type thing or eating earlier in the day, maybe eight months of that. My body has adapted pretty well to it. I do enjoy it. Um, and I'm not totally married to it. If I really start to feel hungry in the evening um, or we're having a special event with family and I want to eat something with you know, the people that we're with for dinner, I will. Um, but this is what today looked like and if you have any questions please drop them in the comment box below if you like this video and you want to see more of them please let me know I'm happy to do another day in the life of Marcus eating and show you some variety because a big part of our uh, approach to nutrition is getting variety in your food um, so the meals you saw today will be different tomorrow will be different the next day hopefully and um, I'm trying to eat with the seasons too so it's uh, still winter time, spring is around the corner, foods are starting to change, weather's starting to change, so there'll be more new stuff coming in the way of nutrition. So again, if you like this, please click, click the like button, be sure to subscribe to the channel, get more nutrition tips, more training tips to come. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.